actually made up the total score. Ladies and gentlemen, first and foremost to the stage, we have Asheville Slam Poetry Team's own Miss Jamie Carlson! Once again, please, while she's performing, show your appreciation, clap, stop, yell, scream, enjoy, and interact. Twelve. My sister's cooler, older friend asked me what I'd do if a boy slapped my butt. We mind you, we were sitting in a jungle gym, still very much children. I replied without hesitation. I'd slap them. How dare they touch my body? She laughed. Said, you'll change your mind. Said, it's harmless. It's a compliment, a friendly gesture. I wondered if I was overreacting. After all, I can be dramatic. This is the first step in losing my voice. The next year you become a game where the boys slap your ass, run away, you're supposed to laugh. You can't get mad about the fact that they only slap the pretty girls' asses, never the guys. As if touching a girl's butt for a moment would be worth it, even if that touch was inflicting pain. One step closer to losing my voice. By 15, my body, free range for all eyes and mouths, I get up in front of a class, a boy shouts how much he loves my ass. I'm in my favorite pants, I'm livid. I laugh it off. There's 50 eyes on me. My frustration and embarrassment has rushed to my chest. I feel it boiling. I feel the heat rising. I know if I speak, I'll cry. I say nothing. One step closer to losing my voice. 16. My hips are growing. And suddenly my clothing is a topic of conversation. My clothing hadn't changed. My body did. And everyone from church to school made it clear they noticed. Now I was something to be devoured. Honey, I know it's hot, but those shorts are too short. The poor boys don't need to be distracted by you. Good men don't want hoochie women, honey. Have a little more respect for yourself. Modest is hottest. My childhood body was mine, but my womanly body was the world's one step closer to losing my voice. Fresh into high school, a friend gets raped. She has the nerve to say something, if only to her friends. Her, immediately branded with a scarlet letter, him, a gold medal. One step closer. 20. Losing my virginity. I still believed it was something I could lose. I seduced him. Pulled him into my room. I wanted to feel him. I asked for it. I didn't ask to be woken at 3 a.m. for round three. Him already inside me. He should have asked me. My voice is what I lost that night. And they said silence speaks louder than words. Obviously not. My silence too often mistaken for a yes when it's really a no then used as leverage when I say I didn't want that. Well, you didn't say no. You didn't ask me to stop. You didn't scream. Yeah, well, what if I did? Could you have even heard me? Next up, we have Yahi, Mr. Yahi. Extraordinary. He's a big cook, so yeah. You know I take good care. What has this house he got? Smell it in the air. I've got a range from well to extra rare. All of the dishes gonna make you stop and stare. He'll even let you take it. Taste it if you dare. You're gonna ask what's cooking <laughs> up in there. Here is the secret of the dishes that I prepare. Last week's leftovers might leave you moaning. Taste buds are tortured, they're flatlined and zoning. Lock up your Samsung so nobody's phoning. Go to the fridge, take out yesterday's ham and put the bone in. He put the bone in! Yeah! That ham was so good, wasting food is obscene. You gotta use the bone that shit's fit for a queen! Make up my beans, don't cook collard greens. I throw in the bone, don't you know what I mean? So put the bone in. He put the bone in. Taste it so good. He put the bone in. Don't have a thick bone there. Put the bone in. Wasting food's a sin. So put the bone in. Cooking leg of lamb. A leg of lamb. But the secret I won't hide. If you want the meat ready tender, you got to leave the bone inside. Because the bone, it gets so hot. So hot. Bone, it holds the heat. Holds the heat. Use this through the box. That's transitory cooking. 
eating of your meat, so you've got to leave the bone in. Put the bone for a taste that's sure to win. Put the bone, no matter big or small. Put the bone in. Better than no bone, better than no bone, better than no bone at all. Break it down. He's cooking up the scene, he's cooking up the color, he just got the bone in. He's got the bone in, yeah. He's cooking for a group, he's cooking up some flippy soup, he put the bone in. He put the bone in, huh? He's cooking like a man, he's cooking like top to man. He's cooking like a lamb, he's cooking like a real man, he's got the bone in. I've got the bone in, huh? Vegetarians and vegans. What, what? You better leave this dish alone, leave it alone. May not have no meat, but it was boiled with a bone. The beacons all around, oh, oh, and the other one that's cooking. Make sure you set the bone in when no one else is looking. It's a bone that adds the flavor, it sure does. It's a bone that adds the spice. If you want something you can savor, you gotta follow my advice. If flavor's your mission, don't wait for permission. Put the bone in. Put the bone. What? Slam bones won't save the world. Hell no. So I won't preach about how I feel about Trump, but I will use my three minutes to help you better off your meal. So you all stop your bed and you feel a bone in. I'm the king of the kitchen, because I cook with a bone in. Puero en beso adentro is the bone in Espanol. Gracias, señor, señor. Next up is Mr. Ken Evans. Tara is on the center pole. She is a marked magic ship sailing into green lights melted, dissolved, and deceitful in medieval confusion. Courted by a student who went to the best institution in the fertile fields of microchips, statistics, linguistics, and legal deified prostitutes. Smooched by cops and robbers, renting guards and armor, beat you into new truth and tell you who's smarter. Who's got the forefathers figuring them into their wills, vows, and wants? Not ever, as long as you still receive me as a joke. Terror spoke to a man wrapped in such a perfunctory conflict of interest. He just wanted to go to the country and grow his own everything, sow his own dream, owing nothing but the hope and possibility to be free. And his rich of his days, want the juice for the whole world to see personified into concrete, sweet, strapping our natural reality. And willingness to put all of his ambitions into a mechanical boat. She too became a machine and a machine when she left home. Tara cooked for him and looked good for him, always treating him like full grown, worthy gentlemen. All of the world they spread that love and so Tara got caught by the aspiring businessman with his cousin who happens to also be his best friend. The red room set on fire started spinning. The two relatives collide. You fucking selfish piece of shit. Bam, he bashes his head into the pavement. Bam, he slams his head again, cracking his favorite cousin friend. Many lawyers later, many dollars and many a favor. He is not locked up, though he secretly hates her. The woman that came between a man and his very close removed neighbor. She lets him bang whoever he wants in return. She can't leave the house unless a night or day out for that month she has earned. He sees his cousin, brother cousin in dreams, wondering where he is now sleepwalking, flying through smoky sunny doors with which the young entrepreneur feels he will never have a key. Not until he pays his rent as a tenant of the pimple to disease temple of purgatory. Wakes in the middle of the night constantly, telling Tara that it's just some stupid old bad dreams. Mm. Sweating and panting, then getting up and pacing the halls and stairs. He doesn't go into details with anyone about those nightmares and those nightcaps. Doesn't even speak of such things, digging in the depths of a drenched psychological session of therapy. He just says, Tara, how do you marry me? Mm -hmm. She does like a sick idiot with deeply invested interests. He goes along with it like a dummy still running. Tara is unapproachable. <laughs> Tara is on the centerfold. Tara is bitter, and she is living her life like a stone. There are dead, buried trees and seeds in the seas of her eyes. She is a marked magic ship sailing into green lights, melted, dissolved, and deceitful in medieval confusions. Tara has got a man that hates her. Tara has got a man that she hates. Tara has got a man that hates himself. 
Tara hath got a man that has her number. He tells her to do the skin movies for more money. Tells her to bang these guys he knows from school because they'll pay thousands. Voyeuristically absorbs the tapes he records behind his cement, the door sill, the steams of semen and revolving mind for war. He keeps all the misused gals from Tara's family. Screws them for himself and throws them to the Jack and Johnny's. Makes a business out of these unsavory scenes and things. To Tara, he is a haunted nothing. Next up is Mr. Justin Blackburn, all the rest of the party. If you're interested in, in, in hearing more of his poetry in your own voice, you can purchase his books over here in the part of the bar. For the time being, he's just going to read you a goddamn poem. For all the moms and dads in the world who pray to God to correct their child. 
for all the people who treat their kids coming out as a phase of childish rebellion, for all the ex-quarterbacks who wake up every day angry with a gay son and a pot belly, for all the Xanax housewives of the country who cannot handle having a black sheep as a sequel, for all those who view raising a child as a second chance at their own pitiful fucking life, for anyone who's let their own kid homeless and hungry over who they choose to sleep with, this one's for all the parents who hit their kids and call it discipline. For all the morons who constantly spell well back in my day as if the world is actually the same as it were in 1983. For all the baby boomers, for all the baby boomers who think my generation is weak but can't handle having one transgender relative. For all the wonderfulers who hate immigrants but got here two generations ago upon a dirty, overcrowded ship, just as foreign and far less courageous. <laughs> this one is for all the doctors who prescribe Oxycontin and the lawyers who defend rapists, for the men who run Monsanto and who slowly stealing from our Mother Earth. Of which we see and start looking up the spirit that makes up me. 
Oh, yeah. See, I know I just judged the whole city in which I see, but only see what people are too afraid to believe that if we take off all the clothes and we take off all the labels, we're just children of God living in our own fables. Yeah. Maybe one day I might be able to get someone to cut off these cables of work and these modern day fables. But I am not perfect, I have my own faults. But this guy is forgiving, is what I was taught. Even when my feelings are tied in the knot, I don't want to end this world because I've been caught in the realms of this life who make me who I am. And sometimes I wish I could understand God's plan. And I'm at the point I just want to speak and stand and try to help another lost soul try to become their own man. Woo! Oh, yes. Yes! yes.
You over there, sipping that latte, looking like a brand new book that I can't wait to crack open. Hell yeah! Hell yeah! Hell yeah. Hell yeah. <laughs> that better be oat milk in there because, you know, I'm still vegan. <laughs> but enough about me. Let's begin with your heart and all the times you felt broken. I'm hoping that we can talk about our past like they were a movie we saw once but never really connected to. <laughs> can you resurrect the mantras and breath that helped you get through those challenging years? Oh, that makes you emotional, doesn't it? <laughs> let, the so tears, let the tears fall like the rain, washing away every mistake that you think you actually made. I'm not asking for much, just a hot steaming cup of your vulnerability. No sugar. Oh, yeah. oh. no sugar added. I told her that our pain is essential. She looked at me like I was fucking crazy. She crossed her arms, protecting that soft, kind heart that someone once stomped on. I said, feel. Fucking feel, for God's sake. Explore everything that comes up for you. Savor every wave of emotion. Splash in its tides until it washes back out to sea. Who are you hiding from? It's not me, yet. I know we just met, but you're safe with me. I hope you're not scared of you, because you'll undoubtedly be with yourself forever. So thank you for the tea and conversation. I can be patient while you process what I'm saying, and if you decide to feel again, give me a call. I'll be waiting. Yeah! I just didn't think it would make you a murderer, either. 
Yeah. Because two years from the day you left us in handcuffs, you found yourself at the mercy of a system that doesn't even speak the language of boys like you. Oh, God. So when you finally got out on house arrest and your boy across the courtyard didn't have the pills he was supposed to be holding for you, you swung once. You swung twice. You swung a third time. Swung for the fences so he didn't have anything left at all, including a heartbeat or a tomorrow. And in that moment, you fulfilled every prophecy they ever whispered about you. And though it shames me to admit it, and I name you, Kevin, I wish I could forget you. Because I thought I was done being broken by the foolish actions of boys who have no idea what it means to be men. Her name is Taylor. And she's amazing. And someday this is gonna be our senator. So Somebody without a name. Yes. 
I am 16. My head hung low. Churchgoers cry murder as I go, and I know I am fortunate to have this choice. Yes. And I know I am fortunate to have a voice, and I know I am fortunate to have scraped together the dough, but I want to know why I had to buy my body back. Yes. Oh, yeah. While under yes. attack. Hell yeah. Yes. Photoshop thighs as if to say it is not 
everything that I did. Oh. Sucked my stomach in. Ate water for dinner. Wore sweaters for years to not expose my breasts so that I would never be confused for asking for it. To mm -hmm. me, double D's is just an acronym for damn, dude, these things really weigh on me. Yeah. And you would hit that report. Yeah. Yeah.
When you lean your body closer, redrawing your enemy lines, I wish I could sneak into the window of your brain, rewire your hard wire, teach you to say I love you too, teach you it's okay to feel the way you do, I can help you cope with the noise, coach you through the agony, the anxiety of letting others sit close to you, I want to show you this world that loves you so much, I want to remove the cruel tape placed over your mouth since birth, I want to reform your tongue so you can form words, you did not ask for the silent treatment against yourself, you did not yeah, ask yeah. to be born into this body that so badly wants to keep you there, but friend, my my buddy, just let me in. I dry the blood from my arm once more where your nails dug deep. And I can't help but smile at the significance they hold to me. I'm one step closer to finding that window. These are merely scrapes from chiseling at the glass too fast. I'm one step closer to finding your heart. Tearing down the walls you did not intend to build around your chest, but the glimpses I've seen of it give me a reason to never stop fighting back. And honestly, we're just having the chance to know you. I'm blessed. <laughs> And we can ran it back there. We got KJ! I haven't seen this motherfucker since Leaf, but I'm looking forward to seeing him again. Oh, my name is KJ. KJ. My name is KJ. Harvey Steve. Oh, this is my first poetry slam. Harvested beauty reaped by the mind, reaped by the mind of dark brown. Cool breeze and a collage, a kaleidoscope of fall and spring vegetation, flowers and crystal light that mimic the sparkle of a crown chakra and visceral pulsating heart chakras. Seeds germinating in nature's test tube of African clay from the Sudan. Yeah, seeds of Abraham blossoming in mahogany and indigo sculptures of African silhouettes to the chorus chimed out by that great queen of soul artists, Aretha Franklin, about hey. a rose of Spanish Harlem being black, pastel, off-white and clay-like colors of linen and tribal wear, billowing amidst caravans Middle Eastern and Mediterranean at beachfront and afloat a Phoenician oceanic yacht. This one is KJ's 70s and 80s Gone Wild Bass Funk and Strobe Rock theme. The gold of the sun is black, and the Doobie Brothers were taken into the streets back then. Seventh grade teacher Mrs. Stevenson told me at the end of the year not to be so hard on myself and others and that I've got a gift. Bullied frequently by family and even community, I looked up to and admired. Later, I outachieved many of them, and now I'm living my best life. Yes, yes, sir. Now, yes, my are. territory expanded, enlarged. I look up to the hills and to the sky. I keep looking up over achievements as a child, taxing, breaking down mind, body, spirit, then rising and building up again, dying the death of a million billion lives, then resurrecting on the temple cross like a wild Apache phoenix or like a Kino, an Afro-Asiatic samurai. Now I am the light, blinding light you can't see nor comprehend, light at the end of the tunnel that all God's creation and all sentient beings just can't fathom. I am that I am that I am that I am. This is Victoria.
Our stomachs will eat us alive, and we will run rife with madness. The oxygen that we once took for granted will be choked out by smoke. Our lungs will burn, and our eyes will bleed. Mountain ranges will stand barren under the fields of flames. Our bodies will become covered in blisters and festering wounds. The ground below us will crumble and send us sliding back into the ocean. The gods will rain down thunder and lightning upon evil men. For thousands of years, we have thrown our brothers' corpses in the ground. We have spit hatred in the faces of those that we do not understand. We have built walls and bombs and prison cells for long enough. We have raped our homelands of what she so graciously provides. We have committed mass genocides against all of her living creatures. And soon, she will have her revenge. Her fury, her pain, her suffering will be unleashed upon us all. Regardless of merit, regardless of status, regardless of the purity of your heart, we will all go down together as one. If only we believed that one is what we always were, then perhaps we could have saved ourselves. So, the poets don't even know what order they're going in, but guess what? Elijah, you're up first. Get up here, Elijah! Alright, 
Okay, here we go. Amaya. Maria for the win. This one's called The Smiling Skull of New. A smiling man approached me yesterday. And I hushed the wind in time to hear him say, In this world you don't belong to, how dare you make this way? And just then, the ocean washed upon my watercolor world. All my colors went away. He watched me now, and I said, dare not to look away. But at this he closed his eyes, and so his face was ripped away. It is rare to see a smiling skull within the light of day. But grinning still, he gestured north and said, shall we go forward? In this world I don't belong to, dare me not. So hand in hand we walked as demons too, the woman of no color and the smiling skull of new, and descended further into the darkness that no other beings knew, into the quiet, cold embrace. seeds 
instead of digging graves. I wish I'd known it better. Because my grandfather was a carpenter and a teacher. But he built houses, never homes. Taught other men how to lay foundation, but never had much of a leg to stand on when it came to being a father. His hand. Hard and scarred from driving nails like crucifixion. And when he could not simply crucifix, he would just build over. Walling familiar skeletons back in the closets, sanding down his own children into handcrafted fixtures of silence. Walking on water for some sons. Walking on his wife because he could. His failure poured his fists held her with vice-like vitriol, draining all the love and mercy and gentleness and tenderness of the fluttering butterfly of her center. And dear God, is it any wonder the cancer metastasized in her left breast first? Wow. So he made a living with his hands, and we lived with what he made, which was my father, a true son of the Appalachian, prince of his profession, best diesel mechanic for 200 miles, and son that he know it, but pride goeth before every fall, so an electrical accident almost eliminated him from my equation before I could say my own name, and the fallout from this were burns and scars deep and grievous in the loss of two fingers on his left hand. Despite the decimation of these digits, he continued on as both a fixer and a father, still quite excellent as one, hidden this at the other. He soon realized his own home was broken beyond repair, and the families don't come with factory manuals or warranties, and replacement parts aren't easily to order by picking up a catalog. And I knew these hands intimately as a child, but never with cruelty, but I always have to tremble and wonder what my childhood could have been like if he'd been gifted with all ten fingers that daddy gave him. He made his living with his hands. And I am something he made. I am the first man in four generations not to make his living with his hands. You see, I was born lazy-eyed and dreaming, too smart for my own good, too little and weak for hard physical labor. So I cobbled together this identity out of the warped and broken floorboards of badly built homes, the discarded parts of long, obsolete machines, because I know what it's like to stand spine splintered by your own DNA. To be cast from mold so flawed, you would be the only one they made. I know what it's like to live as a petrified prototype, terrified of putting your own progeny into production. Ain't all I know what it's like to live a life obsessed with mirrors. Yes! I've been looking into this one for almost 44 years, looking for the man they would have made, waiting for him to show up, because I've got all this forgiveness and self-love and respect tucked in my back pocket like a bandana, but I'm going to watch him make it and wave it on a, on a battlefield like a banner, because you know, I'm a builder. And I'm a teacher. Yeah. I will build a home, not a fucking house. I will build a field, yeah. not a big place. I will make my living with my heart. Oh. And I will live with what I've made. The author of Heart and Fire and other books. Here you guys. Yeah, Justin! Justin Marco! It's sarcastic at all, it's a real pain. I hate the whole thing. Rejected again by a publisher again? <laughs> Feel bad about yourself again. Your dreams are never coming true again. Your parents were right about you again. You should become a banker again. Because you're a broke loser again, stressing out about how you're paying rent again. You spent it last night at the bar again. You don't remember much again. Did you get punched again? Your <laughs> sense on your face again. Your mind is all over the place again. But you don't have time to worry about your insanity again. Scream for family again. You're late for work again. Time to serve ungrateful jerks again. Time to waste away from minimum wage again. The assistant manager's eyeballing you again. Why is he following you again? Oh, you forgot your name tag again. Ready to be his punchy bag again? One more strike and you're fired again. Go to the bathroom and cry again. There's no reason for you to even try again because you'll just let this world beat you down again without letting your voice make a sound again. Mm. Amen. So why are you alive again? Because you're too 
afraid to die again? Oh no, you got dreams again? Oh, yeah. You think yeah. they're coming true and you giving away your spleen again? I'm not even trying to be mean again. I'm your heart. Mm, again. And I'm on your team again. Every time I beat again, that's a brand new start again. The perfect time for you to take charge again. To open up the book and write again. Stop thinking everything's going to happen overnight again. Focus mm. on finding your own inner light right here in this moment. Yeah. 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 You are your only opponent again, so why not let yourself win again? Yeah. Yeah. You are creating your own reality again. Transform your mentality again. Feel satisfied and receive satisfaction again. The law of attraction again. Let your love be able again. Yes. Walk up smiling to the table again while appreciating every quarter again. May I take your order again? Yeah. Make that cheesy joke about jalapeno poppers again. <laughs> Nothing is ever stopping you again. Feeling good no matter what again. Look at your own beautiful butt again. So much to appreciate again. Relax. Focus. And create again. Your dreams may seem far away again, but you will ride beside them one day again until then. Keep publishers filled with your writings again. Keep igniting your flame again. It's always going to be the same again, but you have the power to change anything again. By changing yourself again yeah. and again and again. Yeah. Jamie Carlson. Jamie Carlson. Sister, take 
picture family gathering. But we like the way you sing. We steal your music. You know what makes you feel free? Oh, you make more money to us. You money to us. Entertain us. Tell us a fable. Eat at our table? You brainless. Start a business? You want to compete? We the bank. What you think? Ever on a black Wall Street? Burn your church, you nothing worth. Sorry about uh, Martin Luther King. But look how fast you run. Look at you get airborne. Put you in a uniform. Damn, you're better than us. But don't forget, you're still dumb. Plus, we gave you the team. So we gave you this dream. Nice people, us. What? How are we mean? We vulture for your culture. Slavery. Oh, me, me, me. That was so long ago. Everything was clean when we set you free. We even gave guns and drugs to your community. Aw, right. look at the poor kid on crack. It's so sad to be black, but we're not going to help. White, all we care about is ourselves, white people, us. What up? Oblivious. I'll let Trump invalidate your feelings. I can't believe you're me. I'm in so much disgust. Uh -huh. How do you not love a country about oh, you yeah. that doesn't give a fuck? Oh, yeah. White people yeah. us, pretentious, each ridiculous. On the same bus, we get after school detention. You 50 years in private prison. Oh. We citation. Oh. Turner, you murder. Oh. White cop paid vacation. Don't know how to listen, afraid to lose our position. Don't know what it's like. Cause we're white. Yeah. People, us, need to wake the fuck up. We created this racist society. So obviously it's on us to make it into equality. Fucking dumb. Next up we have Jamie Carlson. Lingering ghosts of panic attacks, 
Arguments between logic and false facts. Dualism creates the two road. Cognitive dissonance creates the path. Mm. I'm trying to run mm. from dichotomy. Want to believe in autonomy of thought, all or nothing, all that I have versus all that I ought. Victim or survivor, I can't seem to swallow my own trauma as truth, safety, or liar because I'm trying so hard to believe in you. Following my passions or wasting my time, tying my noose of codependency or finally cutting off that line, am I anxious or am I insane? Do not refrain from following concrete paths. Searching furiously for the solution spark to light into existence a trail of blazing light. What is truth when disillusion burns so much brighter? How does one believe themselves when they are split into two paths? Let my fingers light the match. Set the trails of lays left with nothing but ash. A gray resolve will settle in silence. Release these charcoal lies at last. I give up stark white fantasies of my past. I want sliding grayscale to soothe both too bold and too bright. I'm building myself a third rope within the first yellow woods in sight. Bringing up Justin and Jamie to the stage for your time for a second horizon. Justin, come get your prize. God damn it, come get your prize. You're a beautiful human being. Brad, I love you so much. You are the most original girl I've ever met in my life. And I really love you. But there has to be one winner. And this winner gets a couple things. First, and maybe most importantly, is Jane Kramer's new CD. It's another week before you can buy this. So, but maybe also, just as importantly, it's $200. I thought you had, hold on, before I say it, I do want to let you guys know the grand prize tonight is presented by AshVegas.com. They threw a hundred bucks in this pot to sweeten it up. If I have Elijah to the stage, please! Thank you. Everybody have a great night. I love you all.